Om Shanti, welcome back to your own channel, Seek the Soul, the Truth Lies Within and today is our 349 day of a godly blessing. We are going to learn about something which is known as a prasad or something which we offer to God in a temple or in other places of worship and we eat it on our own but because God doesn't have a body so he doesn't eat it but we take it on our own. So we offer sweets, we eat it on our own. That is known as prasad. And it is something which is offered to God first and then had yourself. That is also known as prasad. But what is the real meaning of offering to God and having it yourself? We are going to explore that over here. So the title goes like this. May you be a confluence aged angel who is to become a deity and eat and share with others the Prabhu Prasad of divine virtues. So God wants us to become like an angel. An angel is somebody who directs and guides other people without wanting anything in return, having any desires of their own. They don't man manipulate or try to get things done for their own benefit. They are those souls, those human souls, human beings who are helping other souls without any motive. So God says, become like that angel. Now how do we become like that angel? And then turn into a divine being who is known as a deity. Let's explore that. Baba says, divine virtues are the most elevated Prabhu Prasad. So when we offer something to God, we say offering doesn't mean that you offer fruits or you offer sweets. Offering means that God, I'm going to do this work. I'm going to take on this step. I'm going to take this step towards my life, whether it's in relationship, whether it's in friendships, whether it's in financial decisions or health decisions. And you offer it to God. Means you say, God, Father, if I am supposed to do this, how do I do it? What values, what virtues, what powers do I need to use in order to make this work successful? That is what it means to offer. But what do we offer? We offer fruits, we offer sweets, thinking that we are pleasing God. God says, no, you can't please me by offering those things because I don't have a physical body to eat those things. What you need to offer is your thoughts to me. And God says, share this with others a lot. What is that? Divine virtues. Just as you share physical toli, toli is a Sindhi word for prasad only, with one another, out of love, in the same way, give others this Toli of divine virtues. That means this prasad of divine virtues. Now how do we offer that to others? Let's say a situation comes in your life and whether it's a financial situation or a relationship situation where somebody's blaming you, somebody's complaining and you lose tolerance, you get into anger. What did you offer? Yes, you offered anger. But if you were in a practice of meditation, you would have said, God, Father, what should I do in this situation? What value or what virtue should I use or what power should I use? Answer would directly come, use power of tolerance, use power of decision making, find out, determine what is right, what is wrong, whether it's your own mistake or whether it's that person's mistake. Be humble, be polite, be kind and then answer. So that is what it means to offer it to God. So whatever power any soul needs, suppose somebody, a close relative friend is going through any issues and they need the same powers of tolerance and patience or a friend is needing that power of patience, that friend is becoming frantic, running around here and there to find solutions for their own issues and problems, whether it's a financial, whether it's a relationship issue, they're crying about it. So whatever power any soul needs, donate that power to him with your mind. That means have good wishes towards them. Think that may they rest, may they relax, may they think with a very humble, kind-hearted, divine mind and find solutions instead of getting angry, instead of spoiling relationships, instead of spoiling the health, and so many other things. So you can offer those prayers through your attitude. So God says, whatever power any soul needs, donate that power to him with your mind. That is, with your pure attitude and vibrations. So that is what it means to pray for somebody. If you think, oh, this person is not going to, he's going to always react in an angry manner, he's going to spoil the situation, he's going to spoil his relationships, he's going to spoil his health, he's going to take a wrong decisions just like before, that is not praying. 
So God says that is not an angelic work. Then you become a devil instead of an angel. Through your actions, become an embodiment of virtues. Show to others how to be patient. Through actions, show to others how to be tolerant. Show to others that it is possible to find solutions to any problems in life. Show them the courage. So courage is also a virtue. So God says, and give souls the cooperation to imbibe virtues. Not to give up, but to move ahead in the right direction. So give them the cooperation if they are thinking of stepping back, moving back. Help them to move ahead in life. By doing this, the aim of the conference age of changing from an angel into a deity. So first you have to help other souls like an angel so that you become like a divine being because you'll have to use divine qualities to help others out, isn't it? So into a deity will easily be visible to all in a practical way, not just through words, but in a practical way, they'll feel that you're an angel in their life and they'll be praising you for the qualities which you have received from God, not your own qualities, but what you have received from God. Because God is an ocean, God Father is an ocean of virtues, God Father is an ocean of powers. So that's what we learn about God Father in Brahma Kumari's Godly Spiritual University. What powers and what qualities does God have? Because everybody thinks that God is an almighty powerful. But it's not about almighty powerful doesn't mean that he's going to throw lightning over you and he's going to make somebody who's dead into alive, dead spiritually. And alive as an angel, as an angel, is what God can do in miracles. So that's what God's work is, to help us to see values and virtues in our life again when we are surrounded by negativity, impurity, impure thinking, impure attitude. And you can learn all of this at Brahma Kumari's Godly Specialist University for free. Do visit it. Om Shanti. Mm -hmm.